Oh no, well, Jamie Rogers here with a little bit more inspiration on how to use my canvas collection. Today we're going to be starting with the original canvases and we are looking at the square design. If you've not seen these before, these are a die that will go through and cut out the perfect panel to be built up into a canvas or a frame. On the inside of the packaging, as you see, there is a little bit of inspiration to hopefully give you a few ideas as well. And as I mentioned, we're using the original collection. Since these launched, we have also bought out a larger set of canvas dies too, with the same shapes. So if you wish to collect both sets, you'll then be able to nest them or use them together to make up even more larger projects. As this die goes through and cuts out, not only will it cut, it will also score in all of the lines that we need to build up our canvas. So I'm going to bring in a burnishing tool or a bone folder and I'm going to work my way around and burnish all of these creases into place. I'm actually going to be using some coconut white cardstock for my canvases on this project, but I wanted to cut it in black so you could see them score lines nice and easily. Not only will it score it, it will also cut all the little tabs that we need to actually glue the canvas together. I'm going to bring in some Cosmic Shimmer Dries Clear Glue and I'm going to form these round and just hold them in place with a mini peg to help that glue set. You certainly don't have to use this glue, but it is one with a little bit of wiggle room, which really helps. And it sets very nice and quickly. But if you're a glue gun kind of crafter or you prefer your tapes, you could equally build these with them mediums as well. By the time you've worked all the way around, your glue should be set and you'll be able to take away your pegs so that we can start working with them. Onto the card itself, I've got a piece of the same coconut white card. I've also got a panel in white, which I've scored at every half a centimetre, just to make up a bit of an interesting background without anything too bold, which is going to steal the show from the main card. I've then wrapped a ribbon round and added some pearls, leaving the gap in the middle where I know I'm going to bring in my little crafty presents and add them on. All I've done with my canvases is added some red liner tape and gone round adding on some 3mm lilac ribbon so that I've got that present effect. I'm also going to bring in from the canvas collection the panel die as well. This again is from the original collection so it's a slightly smaller one than the large panel that we have available as well. I've built up my little ray of presents there. I could have added in more if I wanted to. I could have gone for different shapes as well if I prefer. But it's just a little idea of how you could build these up. You can stack them if you wish to. I'm then going to bring in a little panel as well. And I'm going to stamp on a sentiment too. My stand sentiment for this one is going to read, Grandparents are the true heroes in this world. But from that set of stamps, there are lots you could choose from. These are again ones I've designed. So lots of quirky little sayings to hopefully get you all throughout the year. That completes today's very quick and simple card. I hope that's given you a little inspiration on how you could take these canvases and then actually use them to make your little 3D presents. These canvases also work really nicely if you were to print off your photos and cut them out, use the nesting dies that come provided to cut apertures in them and turn them into little shaker boxes or little display boxes, or use the dies to build up on top of them. All of the products I've shared with you today are available from all good creative expression stockists worldwide. I hope you've enjoyed it. Hope to see you soon. Bye for now.